What's up? I'm Jen, I'm Short, and this is the 2014 Toyota Highlander Limited with the Platinum Package. So when this generation of Highlander launched, I remember thinking, holy crap, that car is huge. Now that I've driven it, I can confirm, holy crap, it is huge. There it is, all by itself. And then next to me, you can see how big it is, or how small I am, or both. This could technically be like a small studio apartment for me. Look inside. It's nice and easy to step into, though, because I have the seat so far up, I have to be careful not to bang my knees on the lower part of the dashboard, which can be tricky. I mean, if I move the seat any further back, then I'm really reaching for that gas pedal. So I really have to have the seat, like, pretty much right here. Also, I can move the seat up more like that so that I can actually, like, see over the hood, but then, I mean, I'm like really close now. If I get in an accident, I'm screwed. So we're just gonna put that kind of back down. Give myself a little bit of clearance right here. So yesterday, I was driving this Highlander on the highway and I was thinking, damn, why is my leg feeling that kind of numb, sort of falling asleep feeling? It's because this one like wasn't really touching the ground, but I didn't realize until right now, it has this like, whatever this thing is called, the extender thing and it was fully out yesterday, and I didn't realize it, so I don't know if you can see the seats moving this way. So it's like pushing my leg out like that, so I can't like really reach the floor anymore. So I didn't realize it was extended when I was driving it, and I didn't think to like adjust it. Now that I know it's there and I can put it away though, now my foot can actually reach comfortably on the floor and rest there, so now it's probably more comfortable than it was yesterday. Now, if you're a lady and you have a purse, or if you're a dude and you have a purse, I mean, I don't know, you can have a purse too. Anyways, then you know what it's like when you go to get in your car and you need a place to put your purse. If you have no passengers, then you can put it on the passenger seat just fine. And it's nice there, right? Sometimes you have people that wanna sit up in the front with you and it ruins your plans, because <laughs> now you have nowhere to put your purse. See, you have a passenger, what, what am I? And I don't wanna put it on the floor. I mean, usually the passenger has legs, so typically that's occupying that space. So now where do I put it? Sometimes I just put it there on the armrest, but then now I can't use the armrest. So frustrating. If this were a smaller car, like a coupe or something, where the back seat was like really close, I could just toss my purse in the back, easy breezy. But that next seat is so far away. I can't reach that. Oh, and I don't wanna put it on the floor back there. But guess what? There's a solution. Solution is... There we go. There is a massive compartment in here. I'm just gonna move that tray. Wow. Ta-da! And I still have an armrest. <laughs> Ta-da! As one would expect, the back seats are quite roomy back here, and this model specifically has the second row captain chairs, which means instead of a bench seat, there's just two separate seats which I personally find much more comfortable. One, we get our own armrests right here. And two, it makes for a nice, easy little passageway into the third row. So you didn't have to worry about even folding this down or whatever. See, I didn't even have to touch this seat in order to get to the third row. I just squeezed right through the middle here. I'm not saying everybody could do that, but I can. The third row isn't super spacious, but I still have plenty of room back here. And this is assuming that the people in the second row are greedy bastards and have taken all the space for themselves because these seats are pushed all the way back. But I mean, I still have room and my knees aren't like hitting the back of the seat. So it's all right. So what about the hood on this thing? It can't go up that high, right? This hood 
foot is heavy. Shouldn't there be like shocks or something? This foot's really heavy and it's really hot. Hang on. Hang on. So I have to use cardboard because I can't touch it. But now I got no hands to put the stick to hold it in place. Okay, so basically if you, uh, if you wanna open the hood on this thing, you should probably carry oven mitts with you. And a step stool. And maybe a big burly man. Cause this hood is heavy and it's hot as hell. And in the full upright position, <laughs> I can't reach it anyway. But that's okay, I'll get it from the side with my uh, hand protectors that are made out of coffee cardboard. Okay, here we go. This goes there. Dude, my arm is like shaking. Whoa. Okay, here we go. We're gonna let it go. Hopefully you never have to open the hood on this car. Whew. All right. So we got the hatch up and uh, it doesn't go up quite as high. It doesn't go up as high as the hood, it seems. I can reach the little grabby things here. Unfortunately, uh, with this one specifically, something is wrong. Cause the little button here that's supposed to like automatically close it, doesn't do anything. really good if you want to have a workout. An unexpected workout. It's good. The good thing though, you don't have to open the whole tailgate if you want access to the back. You can press this little button here and then you just open the glass part like that. Which is probably really good if you're like a normal sized person. I mean if I throw something down here that's it. I can't reach it anymore. I'd probably have to go in the back seat to grab it. I can't reach it. It's an option though. And there you have it, the 2014 Toyota Highlander. A great vehicle if you're looking for an arm workout. I mean, look at those muscles. That's just from dealing with the really heavy hood. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, you should check out my previous videos with other vehicles. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, be sure to leave them in the comments down below as well, or on any of my social media accounts. The links will be in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching, and now it is time to roll out. There's a giant crowbar back here. What the hell was this vehicle used for previously? I don't know. I don't want to know. He knows nothing.